so just an update get this on video for you guys you can see the construction going on right now there's gene he's got to let me in his gate though i don't know how to do this let's, let's there it is we're rolling on in looking good, man. Welcome to the man cave, the hangar, and the uh, Mission Impossible. <laughs> We're good. Look at this, man. Holy cow. All right, here, let's walk this way. Before, when you were here, you were on our back deck. Yep. The back deck has disappeared for the tractors. You're this looking north nuts. towards Perdido Bay. And this is the new 15-foot <laughs> keystone wall that wraps around here. We wow. came out to this area before, and this was a graded slope going down with a lot of foliage yeah. on it. We took, took an old rickety staircase down. Yeah. We stood down there and looked up and looked west and all you saw was a lot of foliage. And we said this is what it would be. And I remember I pointed out into the water and I said that's where the ramp's going to be. Well there's the ramp Yeah. and it comes out. It's under construction now. In the foreground is a fixed dock and on the inside, they call it the hockey stick for obvious reasons out there. On the inside side of the fixed dock is going to be a floating dock. Oh my gosh. The floating dock will rise and fall with the tide when I decide to park the plane right into that floating dock. This We're not is in the crazy. floating dock and we take it up the ramp. Here, come on over. How far above sea level are we right now? This is about 28 feet right here. 28 feet. Ironically, is the highest point on Interiority Island. If you, just, if you look left and right, you see everything's lower. Um, oh my gosh. But this is, um, in fact, there's the airplane hangar. Can you see it? Oh yeah, you've already got the door frame the work up there. The airplane door has just gone in. Here, look at this drainage system. Watch your step, please. Okay. And uh, this will be all Look at that, man. That is so. The else. tractors broke the drainage, so they got to come in and redo all the drainage. That's not no, That's not good. Yeah, they should have had it covered better before they uh, they had. They were carrying this huge five ton, uh, five thousand pound uh, overhead door system down the ramp on the far side of the garage uh, of the hangar over there. They carried that door down in that little area over there? Yeah, it came down a tractor on that side. Talk about jiggling God things around and singing and zagging. Man. You see that grate over there on the ramp? Yep. That's fiberglass. It's not metal. It's not aluminum. It's not metal of any type. It's fiberglass. And there's two of those. Each is one of four foot wide and a one foot centerpiece giving me oh, just a little over nine feet. That will be the grating, G-R-A-T-I-N-G. Okay. The grating flow through that sits on that wooden uh, structure. Wow. To allow the water to to flow through during the next hurricane. And then you'll all about, you're gonna cut all these posts down though, right? All the sir? posts yeah. get cut down all the way out to 85 feet out, which is the last post. Okay. Those are five foot separators, normally eight foot, but they brought them in closer for strength. Those are five foot between the columns. 
and it goes down at a seven and a half degree pitch right to about the uh, fifth or sixth piling out there. At the point where it's touching the water, it then re-pitches and becomes more gradual going out 85 feet to the last piling. That is going to be crazy. Okay. So the landing gear goes down in the water out there, and we'll have a 25-foot marker further out, and then a 50-foot marker beyond, uh, further out. Okay. The landing gear gets down, and then we taxi at two to four miles an hour right up to that last piling. That last piling will be shaved down to the floor of the ocean floor. Okay. And the wheels will touch the ramp at that point okay. underwater. Okay and then nail the power and just bring my way right up the ramp. And this way right here becomes the wash down area, right in here, we okay. just spray it down. You got a little fresh water supply there? Yeah, coming in right on the okay. walls on both sides. Nice. And, and then the <laughs> pressure, pressure water supply. I got, and then, uh, why don't we take a look? Yeah, you, let's you, go down just, there. You can see the staircase on the left, the, ra the ramp down, coming down the far side, let me show you the real secret. Okay. Here was where you and I used to puff a cigar under a yep. that old tent over there. Yeah. And this decking went out, oh, 40 feet, right. which matches the edge of the concrete corner of the, okay. the hangar. So all of this is going to be under a big metal roof. So this coming roof, off the house. Okay. This roof attaches to that roof. Oh wow. And this will be a complete gabled. This pitch like this, pitching like this, it'll be pitched like this, going straight out there. So this is all under a big outdoor patio. Covered. And it'll be a copper colored metal roof. So that when you're eight miles out there on final approach to landing, <laughs> to this sleep. thing will be a freaking strobe light. <laughs> <laughs> You'll know where you're supposed to be landing <laughs> when you're coming in from eight miles south. Nobody's going to have you on that one. That's By great. the way, as long as I'm 1,400 feet under in the airspace from yeah. water to 1,400 feet up, yeah, that's uh, Class Charlie airspace for uh, the Blue Angels, okay. which is four and a half miles down the road there. Off of Navy Sherman, yep. Yeah. Okay. So um, as long as we're under 1,400 feet, we're not bothering them. Okay. But they know who we are. We, we gave them all the... All the stats on the plane and everything. So oh, you're, you you're in the house and you want to make a trip into the man cave. This will all be level. Okay. And so you'll be coming in right here. Okay. But for today, we'll take a trip right here. And before we go into the man cave, let's walk out. So when you come in from the house, you got yep. three ways you can go. You can go down the staircase. Watch your step. And okay. You come this way. Or you can come out of here on the balcony, and this is the outdoor balcony. Oh man, it's gonna be beautiful, dude. And this is this is this is gonna be crazy. There's your look at your view. Now those are my atrium windows. Remember, this is a cathedral effect inside. Oh my gosh. Okay. And this looks straight out onto the ramp. So Absolutely here's the fireworks nuts. display, and here's the the party and what you have <laughs> underneath you is about five to six thousand pounds of overhead door 40 foot wide the uh, wings are about 36 38 feet wide is it that wide the mm -hmm. icon is 36 i think it's around 36 36 feet, feet okay yeah i may be off a foot but That's it's okay. right around there and uh so i've got about a foot and a half on each side of the wing if the wings are fully extended. But you're gonna fold them, right? I will fold them out here uh, sometimes, but I, I, I wanted the uh, the option to be able to roll the aircraft okay. in without folding okay. the wings. And so it comes straight in. This is a massive drainage system you see in the sand. All of this piping on the ground will be covered with keystone sub-support sub material. Okay. Uh, and will be covered with a, um, a pavers, I should say paver material look at that thing man that that is one heck of a door Isn't that something wow <laughs> gene you spared nothing on this so what do we have over here just uh, is it walk all the way around yeah yeah okay okay so you come over here this is the west side of the okay. house 
It'll be, we're gonna rate, I, I, it was not my original plan, but we decided to go with it. What you're looking at is the shoring against the earth of our neighbor's property. Okay. And we're gonna create a ramp about four or five feet higher, but at the same angle, going down okay. further toward the wood out there. Okay. And all of this will be filled in and level. And, uh, Man. So this is, <clears throat> step right here this all remains level and continues this this is not a drop here this will all be level going straight out okay to this side door of the man cave on the west side or straight out this way now when you're coming in with the tools equipment and stuff you come into this door here and that's a shaft for your elevator this is the elevator there you go you want straight down or you can go through the elevator on the inside mezzanine balcony okay looking down onto the hangar Man. from inside dude well, let's watch your step okay these electricians are putting up the cans in the socket and uh we'll take a nice can you see him that's not eight, nine miles to the Lillian Bridge, straight okay. out. Everything west is Alabama. Everything right is Florida. There you go. Talk about. And you can see why we set the fixed stock at the angle we did. We call it the hockey stick. Because look at where the winds are right now. You can see the ripple yeah. effect of the water. Well, it's 90% of the time it's coming from that way or slightly from the west. Okay. According National Oceanographic. North, northwest. North, northwest. So we want to park the plane pointing into the wind. And to do that, you come around onto the inner side of that hockey stick looking north, northwest. Okay. Back out when we put the floating dock in. That'll be the next video just to show you the. Yeah, that, man, well, that thing's in there. <laughs> and, That'll be sometime in April. We'll have the aircraft coming in. Hey, Look at Trooper. That sweet dog. What's up, Trooper? How you doing? My, this guy's my watchdog. I've been doing? keeping an eye on, on this whole thing, yeah. watching the progress. The entry to the man cave, I should say, the entry to the me mezzanine of the man cave. <laughs> Now you're inside. Okay. And you can be puffing your cigar or sipping your glass of wine. And you're looking down at a 40 foot wide hangar door. And we'll go down there in a minute, but this is the the west wall over there with those outlets are not only power, but it's data. And that's the flight center. That's where we're gonna do our flight planning, big screen TVs and everything. Wow. Um, under us, you can under put your, us. You can put your co-flight management portal up on that screen as well. Co co with all the data? Yeah. And that's where it'll we'll be We'll just have it playing on the screen. That'd yeah. be cool. And you can upload the data from Wi-Fi and everything else in here. That's correct. Out on the, I'll show you in a minute, but um, all that data, and the maintenance of it will be managed by my uh, uh, AMP mechanic. This is the upper atrium effect. It'll be, we have a separate uh, high-powered uh, uh, air system to not only put heat and AC in here, but to also dehumidify. Okay. The biggest concern I have is that when that overhead door opens, you're losing heat or you're losing cooling right. instantly. Right. Quickly. Yeah. So when we close it back down, uh, the, it, it's not just a heat pump. The heat pump would be overworked. We actually need a separate dehumidification system to pull this volume of water out okay. quickly for the sensitivity related to the aircraft. Yeah. But you're looking at... You could put three icons in here with folded yeah, wings. Yeah, with the folded wings. That's right. And three uh, co-flight contracts. Or even a nice 172, 182 with if floats you, on it when you move on. It, with <laughs> um, you're looking at these steel I beams. There's uh, 25 tons of steel I beam that came in. Wow! Around the perimeter. How many? How many cubic feet of concrete did you put in? Uh, 100. Excuse me. 1 million pounds. 50 tons. 50 of tons concrete. of concrete. Yeah. 
And it was done to a commercial standard with um, number eight rebar uh, embedded in all of this. That is pretty, pretty strong. Unbelievable. Bomb shelter, hurricane yeah. shelter. Oh, this is definitely category five. Yeah. This can handle category yeah. five. So you're inside the mezzanine. You want to go down to the hangar? Come over here. Step into the hangar. Gotcha. Step into the elevator go through the second door back outside where we were before okay or if you're outside you can come back in not go down and come back in this way okay so this is a four panel sliding door okay so the whole thing opens up man welcome to my man cave great work man this welcome is great man cave. This, this is, is the great. Uh, this is where we're putting in the big flat screen TV and a lot of shelving and okay. stuff on the walls. And uh, over to my left, your right, would be the the kitchen area. Okay. Standard kitchen area with an island right here. A big library. I'm putting in a, my own research and reading. This is all my reading stuff. Okay. So I'll be just shelves of books and stuff I liked. I've always wanted my own library of, of a lot of research data. That, that, that'll be on this entire wall. That's about 12, at least 12 feet. <laughs> and then over here, <laughs> over here is going to be one of those, you see those new uh, Vera desks? You're yeah, standing? That's right. what I'm going to get. Put a Vera this wall will be the Murphy bed coming down. Oh, nice. Okay. This will be where, where the Murphy bed comes down. So when you get thrown out of the house. When I get, and when I get put in the doghouse, <laughs> when I go smoke my this cigar. Is the, this is the doghouse. I can't smoke my cigar over there. I got to smoke it here. So <laughs> so that's the, we're in the man cave. You come out of the man cave and um, watch your step. Okay. This is uh, sort of an open garden area. And this area right here will be the garden area. Oh, nice. And the Zen garden field. Okay. And you have the back area. Here's all citrus plants and stuff like that. And here's a double door entry into the three car garage. Okay. So you And there's the there's the is that Pensacola? That's the Scambia Bay. What what bay is that out there? Oh, that's the intercoastal. Intercoastal. Okay. And beyond the water in the distance is um uh, ono island of oh, alabama that's right that's right yeah okay. it's just the it, it's a little so this is the three car garage and over here is the uh inner storage lawn equipment lawn gear maintenance gear tools and equipment and this is nice. more or less the carport okay so when folks come in i see your jeep off in the distance most people will park there Come into the house, or once the container's removed, we do the pavers, the clover leaves up to here and matches up to the four positions: the carport plus the three, okay, the three bays with the pavers, and just beyond the edge of the coping will be uh, a lot Maureen's greenhouse and, and further garden down in that area, and a lot of foliage blocking this. This service entry will become more grown over or uh, covered in. It won't be a primary entry. The primary entry will Oops, be where you came in. Okay. I got you. So, you know, for 80, 90. So what's the schedule now? Tell me more about this. When are you going to finish this up, Gene? Well, um, the plane's coming March 1st. Okay. But it better, something better be done. But you've been flying the Icon for how long? Hey, oh, five. God, about three years. Three now. years. Okay. You were on the one I of the down, first. I was one of the original owners. That's and right. It's now sitting in Tampa, and I lease it back to him because I'm waiting for this to get done. That's right. And then you're going to get this done, and then you're going to bring it in here in March. That's correct. Okay. And we'll have a little grand opening probably in uh, in April.